Well, boys and girls, we have a real special today for you. It's been fun bringing all these special guests on the program. And today we have a young man who plays an instrument called the violin. And his name is Maurice Sklar. How you doing, Maurice? I'm doing God great. bless you. Wonderful to have you. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad to be with you. Special to have you here and you play. This is called a violin. Yes. Boys and girls, this is a violin. And how old were you when you started playing the violin? I was four years old. How old are you, John? Are you four? Five. You're five. I was five about your age old. when I started to play the violin. Oh, amazing. And I guess it wasn't a violin that big, was no, it? No, it was a little one. It was an eighth size. It was about that big. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And you had to practice? Yes, I had to practice. My, my uh, mom played the violin and my dad played the cello and we lived in Atlanta, Georgia then. And uh, <clears throat> my father was extremely encouraging. He was, <laughs> he was really encouraged you to practice. Extremely. <laughs> you had to practice when you didn't feel like it? Oh, yes. Had to practice uh, two hours a day. Wow. wow, two hours a day. Can you imagine that, guys? Does it pay off? Well, eventually it eventually does. Eventually it does. <laughs> At the time, you, get, you don't you like it. You get to where you can pick and grin, you know. Yeah. <laughs> At the time, you probably don't like it, boys and girls. How many of you play an instrument out there like piano, mm -hmm. cello, violin? It's wonderful to play an instrument. Yes. And we like to encourage everyone to learn to play some instrument. We, you know, I heard a little boy went home, and uh, he was picking up the violin, and he was just screeching away at it for like an hour. And his mother said, oh, please, please stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? And he said, well, I'm just waiting for the Lord to teach me the violin. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, does it? Well, it it's always helps to have a, a, an earthly teacher in addition to your heavenly <laughs> teacher. That's good. John, he says he can make some funny sounds with that violin. Would you all like to hear some funny sounds from a violin? You know, what? I, I'd like to do that, but I'd like to tell you a little bit about the violin first, and just to, to tell the boys and girls oh, out there. that would be great. That'd be what, great. What it, well, the violin is a member of the string family in the orchestra, and it's the highest, it's the highest sounding of all the, it, the string instruments. There's the violin, and then there's a the viola, which is a little bigger, and you play it, the, you play it under your chin, the violin, and also the viola. And then there's a the cello that you play sitting down like this and then the big double bass that you play standing up uh -huh. and um, the, the violin has four strings the G string the D string the A string and the E string and it has uh, it has a, these are called F holes right here they're shaped like an F did you know the man who perfected the violin lived in the 1700s, wow. late 1600s in the 1700s, long time ago. And it came in, in, from Italy, from, from Europe. And um, a lot of wonderful music has been written mm. uh, that, you know, you have a great orchestra here in Houston. I know I went to school here. You know, wow. I'd spend some time in Houston. But, but you ought to go to hear the symphony sometime and hear some beautiful classical music. Many of the composers were Christians, and they loved God, and they wrote for God. Well, anyway, um, this is called the bow, and the, the string instruments are played with, with a bow, and the bow is made out of a special kind of uh, South American wood called permabuco wood, and wow, this is, <laughs> do, you know, do you know what this is? Is it horse hair? It is, it's horse hair, horse that's right, horse very good. Hair. Well, let me show you, this is from a tail of a horse. Now, I'm going to unscrew it here, <laughs> and now I want you to take a look. And so you see, whoa. Oh, we have a horse at home. Look, now we know what we can do with our horse. <laughs> well, you have to, spe uh, you know, I don't know if you have to get this right kind of horse and bleach it and all that sort of thing. And, and oh, it would be a lot of work. But isn't that interesting to see really? how the hair is, is uh, and it, they all put it in a straight line, and, and uh, then it, you tighten it. And then, and now, if you look at the, the, the tail of the horse, the horse hair, under a microscope, you'll see there's like little kind of tiny hooks because it's, it's very uh, po uh, coarse, coarse, yeah. coarse. And that grabs the string. You put a little rosin on it. That's from a pine tree. And you just you stick it on there, and then, it, and then it, the friction causes the, note, the violin to sound. Mm. Wow. wow. See? 
<laughs> and I, I have some very funny sound effects I think you'll like to hear. This is a truck going down the freeway at night. You wanna hear John it? wanted this to hear this one. <laughs> now, if you listen real careful, you'll hear it go right by, okay? <laughs> there went a truck. It almost hit the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a this is a um, an English police car, and it's going to go right by too. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? <laughs> I've heard those. We've been in England. Sounds just like that. In England, like that sounds just yeah, like that. Like they go right by. <laughs> and this is called the Mousetrap Concerto. Oh, he oh. <laughs> <We> got caught. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mouse. <laughs> Poor mouse. So those are my funny sounds I can do. But I'd like to play a song for you if you sure, like. We, oh, would would you like to hear it, kids? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I played a long time, but the, the, Lord, uh, the Lord asked me to go and play for him. And he said that if I would go and play for him, he would do more than just entertain people for an, for an evening, but he would change lives forever. Man. And you know, music has a great capacity to change lives. And we can make funny sounds and have fun, but, but music, God loves worship. God loves it when we praise him and we worship mm -hmm. him. And I know your whole family sings to the glory of God and, uh, and, and makes music. And, you know, that's so important that we spend time and, and learn instruments and sing. And, and the, Bible, the Bible says that, that God inhabits the praises of his people, the mm. singing and the oh. instruments. And, and this is a, a wonderful hymn uh, uh, called Amazing Grace. Oh, wow.
Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and boys and girls, Amazing Grace. That's such a beautiful rendition of that song. All you have to do is receive Jesus in your heart. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Yeah. Is that right, Maurice? Yes. Why don't we lead the children in a prayer that can, they can know Jesus, can't they? Yes. You would just pray this prayer and just say it out loud and, and say, Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe that you are the Messiah. That you are the Messiah. You're the Son of God. You're the Son of God. Thank you for coming to this earth. Thank you for coming to this earth. And dying on a cross for me. And dying on a cross for me. I believe you rose from the dead. I believe you rose from the dead. Forgive me of all of my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Change me. Change me. Make me into the person you want me to be. Make me into the person you want me to be. I want to live for you, Jesus. I want, I want to live, live for you, Jesus. I want you to be my best friend. I want you to be my best friend. Thank you, Lord.